I got the horses in the backyard. Sitting on the back porch right now. They're in the backyard because it is at, you know, the heat. The hot of summer. And their grass isn't growing as fast. So we brought them down here to the goat lot. Because two goats couldn't keep up with this. So they're clearing that out. They're very happy. <laughs> Fat and sassy. never done this before with tomatoes but we're gonna give it a shot I've seen a lot of other gardeners they are just taking their tomatoes coring them and putting an eggs on the bottom put them in a freezer bag throw them in the freezer you go back to them when you have time and the skins are supposed to just slip right off so this is what I've been doing for days now because every day, now I've already put two bags of free, in the freezer, every day we have a lot of tomatoes and then every day we have a lot more getting ready to ripen. I pick them right before they ripen fully, that way they don't split, I haven't had any split, I haven't had any split for a few weeks now but every day I go I harvest tomatoes and every day I put them in the freezer I don't have time to can them and put them into anything of the jars right now so I'm putting them in the freezer bag slipping them in the freezer hopes that it works we'll see never done it before so and that's the beautiful thing about homesteading and gardening is that you're always learning so let me show you how we first we're going to wash them which i've already washed these but i'll wash it really good and then you're going to core it and you just want to get that center out try not to take too much of the tomato unless it's a bad spot or whatever so And I have trouble getting them out sometimes. I have to cut them in a few places. So then the core comes right out. And then you're going to simply put a little X through the skin on the bottom. And then we're going to pop them in a freezer bag. Pop them in the freezer and they can freeze for a few months and then they can freeze for a few months and hope they will i've been told they'll not be like fresh tomatoes like right now you bought you know you eat this on a sandwich or whatever but they are for good for stews and uh, tomato sauce tomato juice so we're gonna see and i'll let you know how that turns out if you all have tried that please comment below and let me know how it's worked out for you I am trying all the varieties of tomatoes I have a lot of different ones from Jetstar to the the big mortgage lifter and so I'm gonna finish the rest of these up and I'll show you how many I already have in the freezer
of course, no, nothing goes to waste here. The scraps all go to the pigs. And we have been eating fresh tomatoes for weeks, which most of you all have too. So we're starting to be able to put some in the freezer that we're not going to eat. And we like to make our own spaghetti sauce and it, just everything that we can from our homegrown tomatoes. Almost done, just a couple more of these go. Some of the tomatoes, the core comes out a lot easier. And I've noticed these yellow ones, the orange yellow ones, they are the best just to be able to get out easy. The some of the pink and other color ones, they're not so good, not so easy to get out. Okay, so squeeze all the air out of it. So you're going to squeeze all the air out of the bag, zip it up. These are just regular freezer bags. And then, those are just regular freezer bags, but I've got lots of tomatoes in here. If you can see all those bags of tomatoes. So we'll see how much that does up when we can can them. So my next nightly chore is to go out and see how many tomatoes need picked for the night. Look, got zucchini most people around here they plant their zucchini for the summer crop i don't have enough room so i got zucchini and beans growing again now so and our zucchini just seems to do better when it start is starting to cool off so got one plant that should be plenty for us so now we're looking for tomatoes to pick for the night. A lot of these little paste tomatoes ripen really quickly. So I'm trying to, there's, that kitten has adopted us. It really likes us. So, let's see. What do we got here? Maybe nothing tonight. Oh, oh, we got turning it's blushing so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it because ah, <laughs> look at that that's my first funky one this summer but there's still as you can see gobs of tomatoes on these plants when I didn't bring a basket so hopefully there's not too many to get tonight but okay we got two which is not not Oh, I see another one. Not the most we've had in one night. There's some more. But, so, they'll all come on again quickly, I would say. They seem to, they seem to do that. One night I'll have 15 or 20. One night I'll have two or three. But yeah, the zucchini plant is doing really well. And already has zucchini on it hasn't even been planted that long 
and then also I have a little bit of radishes and some beans planted in there. I did go get me some more dirt because that one bed was, oh that one needs thrown away to the pigs. One of those beds got damaged by the storm so it was losing a lot of dirt. So I went and got more dirt for it so I can plant beans in it before the weather turns and then hopefully I'll get cabbage and another one for the winter crop and get a nice like three different uh, harvests before the winter time that's the aim I hope y'all have a great day I know this video is short but mowing takes a lot of my time I don't know with so many animals why we have to mow so much but we do but y'all have a great one and y'all come back now